Hey guys, this is Wee187, and welcome to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XII International Zodiac Job System in English. Um, yeah, this is my first Let's Play, but I think I'm gonna do okay. Um, this patch, it's in English, um, it's not official. This really nice guy called FF Griever did it. Um, I would link it for you guys, but I'm not really sure where it is anymore. I just have had the file on my computer. So I reburned the disc and we're gonna do a let's play of it. Um, I'm pretty knowledgeable about Final Fantasy XII in general. It is my favorite Final Fantasy. Um, and I really need a break from FF13, so I thought why not do a let's play for, for FF12 International. Um, so yeah, let's start. Uh, let's... I want subtitles on. That can be off. Uh, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, I'm going to have to keep to the 10-minute rule for YouTube, but I'm going to try to get maybe one video up per day because, as you can see, I have to edit it. I have to put in the sidebar that you can see. Um, I'll be having, like, boss info where I shrink the screen. I'm using Sony Vegas to edit that just because I think it looks cool and a lot of people are doing that where they're uh, putting info on the side and stuff now. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Um... I originally wanted to do a challenge for Final Fantasy XII International, like a solo or something, but, you know, no one really watches ch uh, the challenges anymore that much. And I want something, you know, that can keep me active on YouTube and inspired, so I thought I should do this. Um, so here's the intro. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but all the text will be in uh, lowercase, not in the normal uppercase that you see regularly in the official uh, the official English game, that's the normal edition, because um, when FF Griever patched this, um, I don't know, I guess he couldn't find the font or something, so he used the lowercase font that's actually used in the battle menus and stuff, so it might look a little weird, but I got easily used to it. Now here's Ash and Rassler getting married. Yeah, you can see um, the font is smaller. It, it was kind of weird at, for me at first because all the English text is like that. There's no more of that weird uppercase text, which I was really used to, but, you know, it doesn't bug me. Not anymore. Cover your eyes. So, yeah, this game kind of has a bad rap because people say it has no story, which is completely untrue. Final Fantasy XII story is very awesome. Um, it's just you need to have an analytical mind to really understand it. You have to put yourself in the character's shoes. The game doesn't spoon f feed you the story. You have to think about it, which is why I like it so much. Um, it also makes me wonder why people complain about FF13 so much and it having it, it having too much story because that's really what they complained about with Final Fantasy XII. Like, make up your mind, people. But um, Final Fantasy XIII is m definitely my second favorite Final Fantasy. Um, my main file, I think I have like what almost 90 hours in there now. Um, I'm actually leveling up with the Big Turtle in Eden. But, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, uh, which I haven't, so don't worry. But, um, let's focus on Final Fantasy XII. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if the intro takes up the entire first video. But, you know, what can you do? It's a long intro. Galtea, stand watch over your life. I, be I always thought the scene was kind of cheesy. The whole opening. I mean, the rest of the game isn't like that, but... This scene is like... Honor, and... I must do my family justice and everything. Just, I don't know, kind of... Like, cliched, but... It gets a lot better. I have to say, though, Final Fantasy XII's... Beginning parts... Maybe with like the first two hours or so of the game are definitely the slowest I've ever played. But it really picks up. And with Final Fantasy XII International, there's a lot of differences from the original game. 
Uh, for one, you can control all guests now. Uh, which means that, yeah, I will be controlling Larsa a lot because he is one of my favorite characters. Um, I still like Ash better, though. Um, and then you can also control Vossler and Redis and all the other guests that you would have. Um, let's see. Oh, you can also control Espers now. And that's fun. Um, I never actually do it much because I never actually summon Espers unless I need to. But, you know, it's a fun little distraction. Um, I did it once, I think, and it was really fun. <laughs> Other differences. Um, oh, a lot of the chest locations, the treasure chest locations, they've all changed. Or, um, the items in them have changed. Like, for example, you can get the diamond armlet before you go to the Garam Site waterway now. Which is really useful, because in the original game, you couldn't get it until, I guess, you're, what, maybe 25 hours in? Maybe 20 hours? Um, in the Tita Uplands, which... And along with that, it's really annoying to get. So it's nice that we can get it early and pretty easily in this game. Also, the license boards have completely changed since they added the job system. Each job has its own license board. And it's uh, the license board is a lot more creative now. Um, and also, depending on what summon you give to what character, uh, with a certain jobs, certain jobs can get extra, like, uh, extra spells and abilities and... Um, like unlock extra licenses that if they hadn't acquired that summon they normally would not be able to have um that naturally means that not every character will be able to have every license um spot on his license board there will always be some empty but you can't do anything about that although the nice thing is in this game you can see what licenses you, you want to get before you get them even if they're like not immediately close to you which is really nice in planning and it basically is a lot better license board system than the original game. Um, only three minutes left on this video. Uh, let's see. I will be having certain jobs for certain characters, like I said. I think I want to make Ash a red mage. Um, I haven't really decided on the others yet, but, you know, I might make Von a black mage. I don't know. Something that... No, black mages are really epic, though. He doesn't deserve that. In this game, black mages are amazing, because the uh, damage limit is broken. You can hit over 9,999 damage pretty easily now. Um, it's a lot of fun. Which is why I think um, I choose to play this game rather than the original Final Fantasy XII, because now that this is in English, it's so much better. I originally played the game in, in the... A uh, real Japanese version. All the text, I mean, all the voices were still in English because that's what the international games like to do. But the text was in Japanese, and that's how I actually started uh, memorizing a lot of Japanese katakana and stuff like that. But, uh, ooh, Final Fantasy XII. Um, now I don't have to. I will again later. I'm probably going to play the Japanese version again just because it's in Japanese, but. For the sake of this let's play, uh, I'm going to play it in English. Alright, these little uh, summaries, um, like, it's from the Marquis Andor, or the Marquis Andor. Um, we'll meet him later. He is actually a pretty important character, but... Um, I gotta press circle. Um, uh, he likes to give you these random little messages from his, like, diary or something. Um, and, you know, you can skip it, but I'm not going to in case you want to listen in. Um, if you pay attention, it actually is pretty interesting and it gives a lot of background information, but I know it all. The fall of the fortress in Albana told the destruction of the greater part of Damascus forces. Another thing that was, um, that's different from the original game, since this game was originally from Japan and it was patched into English, you press circle instead of X and you, pre you press X instead of circle. So circle means yes, I want to do that, and X means no, cancel, etc., stuff like that. Um, Oh, another thing, before the video ends, you can also speed up gameplay by pressing L1 now. It's really cool. I think it increases the frame rate by, like, 4. So you can make your character run super fast. I'll show that in the next video, where we're obviously not going to get to today, because the video is almost over. But, uh, look forward to seeing that. This game is so much fun. I'm going to pause the game now. Uh, next video, you can take a look. See ya!